The countdown to the Tokyo Games is on just over 27 days until the opening ceremony that you can watch live right here on KPRC2. And tonight, some very talented local ladies gave it all they had during the U.S. gymnastics trials in St. Louis. All of them vying for a chance to represent the United States on the global stage in Tokyo. Our Keith Garvin is live in St. Louis with highlights from tonight's trials. So, Keith, how did they do tonight? Oh, Chris, Christine, all four of them were really remarkable. As you can imagine, Simone Biles, she did not disappoint. Her second vault was almost out of this arena. A really strong showing by all four fe female gymnasts from the spring area. It was the women's turn to soar at the U.S. Olympic trials in St. Louis. And on Thursday evening inside the dome at America's Center, they soared, swung, and vaulted their way through day one of their competition, hoping to land a spot on the team for Tokyo. In what should not have been a surprise, Simone Biles dominated the night. The spring native had the highest scores in three of the four events, giving her the highest all-around score for the evening. Her gym mates and training partners also had strong performances. Jordan Childs was solid across the board, especially in the vault, to fight her way to third place at the end of the night. When we spoke to Jordan's parents earlier, they told us the trials is where the 20-year-old has wanted to be since she started gymnastics 17 years ago. We worked very uh, hard to get her to this point. Jordan has worked even harder to get herself to this point, so it's been pretty cool. And for Simone, her parents say this second run on the Olympics has been the focus for quite some time. We're thinking, you know, let's let's get this done and um, so she could fulfill her goals and her dreams. And we're very excited. Yeah, hard not to be excited, especially after tonight's performance. I have the results from the first night of the women. And Simone Biles sitting in first place by almost three points. Jordan Childs is in third place. And then we have Amari Drayton, who is in 13th place, and Zoe Miller, who is in 15th. But they have an opportunity to move up this list on Sunday. For the men, we have two Houston natives who are going to be competing tomorrow. Uh, they will be competing tomorrow to see which five men get to go to Tokyo. We will find that information out tomorrow evening. We'll be there all weekend. Reporting live from St. Louis, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News. Biles and Childs, he says, right? Yep, yep. That's we're trying third. to get that trending.